Hi, I'm Lauren. I am a Snow College student, and this is my second semester. I've been asked to do a day in the life as a Snow College student. Um, currently, it is, let me flip the camera around for you guys. Oh, that did not do that. Um, currently, it is 8.25, and uh, I just got out of the shower, um, finished brushing my teeth. I thought you guys would like to see me up awake and alive and not groggy as I am in the mornings. Um, I would like to start uh, with making the bed. Um, this is one thing I really struggled with in the beginning of my semester is uh, making the bed. The reason I want to push this on you guys is because it's a good starting of your day. It's a good routine. It's a good, this is my house, um, apartment technically kind of um, this is my space, but I get to keep it clean. It's my job, and I take care of it. Um, so, I don't know how to show you guys, but I'm just going to go ahead and just do it real quickly. And it doesn't even, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be wrinkleless. It just has to be made, because when you get home and you're tired at night, it is so nice to crawl into a made bed. It's been, has already the energy put in for you. You don't have to worry about making it or getting it comfy around yourself. It just already is ready for you to crawl right into it. Um, all right, at 9.30, I have a class called Programming. And in this class, we are learning uh, C Sharp, the to code on computers. To code little programs that can do certain things, whether it's add up numbers, decide which number is in the middle, um, play a game with you sometimes. So we can we can program certain games and it's fun. Um, now that might sound super complicated, considering it's in a computer language. And it can be. But college is all about learning new things. It's about learning how to learn. And you've got to learn how to learn. Learn how to learn. If you don't learn how to learn, then you're never going to be able to grow in life. And that is one of the main points of college, is getting you ready for your future life when you're out on your own. Alright, I just got done with my programming class. I'm um, wearing my mask as always, because we have our lovely pandemic happening across the world. <laughs> Um, it's much colder than I expected it to be today. It's actually started snowing a little bit. I don't know if you can see, I probably have some on my jacket. I'm about to go eat lunch, and then I'm off to my writing class, which is a writing critical thinking class. Um, I'll talk more about that later. Um, for lunch, you always want to do something that, you know, will fill you up, that you enjoy, that tastes good but also isn't just complete junk food. <laughs> One amazing part about college is you get to eat whatever you want to eat. The bad part about it is you don't make good choices. <laughs> I have done the choices where I eat nothing but sugar. My stomach doesn't thank me for it. And because of that, I've had to learn that I need to eat healthier. So for lunch, I'm probably gonna do a sandwich and an apple. Uh, maybe a few chips on the side, or a little treat of a cookie or two. But, eating well gives me enough energy to get through the day. Alright, see you guys later. Hey y'all! Um, this is probably going to be my last video for the day. As you can see, it's quite dark outside. Um, it's been foggy all day, so... And snowing. It's been great. Uh, right now I'm right here by the fire in our main lobby square, right next to the library, which is behind me. And just enjoying the heat right before I go home. Um, I just finished my calculus study, and it was really helpful because not only was I able to get calculus help, I was actually able to finish my homework. Um, we just had an assignment due. Uh, that's tonight at midnight, but I was actually able to finish that the day before and I was able to finish the assignment that is due in two days. So going um, 
get your homework done early. That is what I'm gonna tell you here. This is my hint for surviving college. The more you wait, the later everything gets, the more you're gonna be dragged underwater. You gotta stay on top of it. If you're on top of it, then it's gonna be easy to catch up and you won't ever have to catch up, hopefully. Um, if you stay on top of it, then you won't have to catch up. If you start falling behind, you have to catch up and at the same time, you have to be doing homework that's due, um, that everyone else is doing, even though they've been caught up. You have to work double times as hard for maybe an extra day of slack. And you also get docked points. You just don't follow behind. You get ahead if you can. Um, you get ahead and you're able to just be that much more secure that whatever you're going to do, you can be much more confident that in case something happens, you got yourself covered. Um, let's see, I'm just going to go home, of course, eat dinner, wonderful, wonderful food, and then just going to relax, uh, do a little bit more homework, about an hour's worth, don't have much more. Um, oh, just so you all know, my calculus study, um, let's see, my class ended at 2.30, and I just got out of calculus study, I just finished with it, rather, and it is... Ah, it's six. Sorry, I had to go check my watch there. It is six. So yes, I do spend a lot of time at the library. The library is a great place. Now I'm just headed back to do a tiny bit more homework where I just need a better internet access than the library provides. Dinner and then sleep. I would suggest this. Go to bed on the right time.